long division with remainders and using Kelly's number chips. This is the Thanksgiving version. So it starts out with just a definition of dividend, divisor, and quotient. And then it shows students where those terms are in the division problem. So here we have 67 divided by 5. The 67 is the dividend goes in the box. And the 5 is the divisor goes outside the box. So it starts out pretty simple for the student. It's just having them place the numbers correctly. So 82 divided by 6. And we have all the number chips the students need on every slide. So they're going to use all of them. And that way, if they get to the end and the numbers aren't working, they know they've made an error and they need to go back and check again. So this first one's pretty simple. So we know the 82 goes in the box, the first number. And the number you're dividing goes outside the box. So they just practice doing this. They'll get used to where these numbers go. And so on. And then it gives them a little acronym that might help. Uh, we use the steps dad, mom, sister, brother for divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. And it starts with divide. That's the first step. So here we have 14 divided by 3. How many times does 3 go into 14? Four times. So they're just going to practice the first step. So here, 36 divided by 7. How many times does 7 go into 36? We're going to grab that 5. You just click and hold on the edge, and then you can move this wherever you like. Same thing here, how many fives in 24? We're going to use the four, and so on. Okay, now we're going to go to the second step. So they're going to do the first step and the second step. We have the problem 51 divided by 7. So they should know at this point where these numbers go. And then they're going to divide. So that's the first step. 7 goes into 51 seven times. And then the next step is to multiply. So we're going to multiply these numbers outside the box, 7 times 7. And that will give us 49, which goes right underneath the 51. OK, so they've just done the first and second steps. The third step is to subtract. So here we're going to start again. We have 51 divided by 7. We already started it on the previous slide. So 51 divided by 7. And then we're going to divide. So 7 goes into 51 seven times. Second step is to multiply. We get 49. And then the third step is to subtract. So when we subtract, we get 2. And that will be our remainder. So the answer is the quotient is 7. So it's 7, remainder 2. And again, they have to use all of the numbers. So if the numbers aren't working, they know they've made an error. And then the next step, we go just a little bit farther. So 66 divided by 8. And these are all division with remainders. So we're going to divide 8 goes into 66 8 times. Multiply 8 times 8, we get 64. So this really helps students who struggle with this, gives them a little leg up because they've got all the numbers they need. Now we subtract, we get 2, and the answer 8, remainder 2. So these, this continues, they get a little bit more difficult as they go. After they've completed the last problem, they get a little message at the end that says they did a, an excellent job. So that is long division with number chips, and this is the Thanksgiving version.